light blue and deep blue trim along with the white and the white numbers. And the ball is controlled by the Beacons. Charles Mitchell working it around the horn. Michael Boyd in the paint, coughs it up. Ahmad Privet coming away with the pumpkin, driving against traffic, had the ball rejected, but he was also fouled. And it's going to be Charles Mitchell picking up his first, team's first, our officials for tonight. Mike Scanlon, the referee, Michael Medina, Joseph Stage, a very veteran crew on hand. And Ahmad Privet going to the line. Colonials as a team shoots 71% from the charity stripe. Ahmad hits the first. He's a 72% free throw shooter for West Guy, which averages just about 78 points a game. Gives up 70. Shoots 43% from the floor, 33% beyond the arc. And uh, out rebounds opponents 42 to 36 on a per game basis. Second one did not go, so it's one zip Westcon. Beacons with the ball and they toss it away. Mark Monroe's pass up top split his teammates. Beacons scoring 71 a game, giving up 63 points. Shooting 42% for the floor, 35% beyond the arc. 62% for the free throw line. Jaheim Young puts it home, makes it 3 0. Beacons out rebounding opponents 40 to 38 per game. Charles Mitchell working with Boyd. Up top for Burris. And a right side deal for Sinelli. Dayson goes cross court and Burris tries a tray. Uh uh. Ball's tapped down, but Burris picks it up, gets it to Charlie Mitchell. The shot won't go. Beacons don't keep hitting the boards, coming away with it. And a banker won't go down for Michael Boy. That one, though, is in. Sinelli. A tray by Young rolls off the rim. 3-2 Westcott early going in play first half here. Little East Conference matchup at the O'Neill. Conference first place Colonials against the Beacons. And there's Charles Mitchell putting his team up. Ross Nelson with 20 on the shot clock. Finds Fenton Bradley. Jumper right side of three. Hits the back of the rim. And the rebound skying for it. Boy. The lead ahead to Sinelli. Who drives and puts it in. Sinelli. Has his team up. 6-3. Shea Tracy. He gets a hold of Pumpkin off to Fenton Bradley. His pass intended for Jaheim Young underneath, deflected by Mark Monroe. West Nelson's pass tipped, saved by the Beacon, so they come away with a steal. Here's Charles Mitchell. It's 8 3. So they ripped off some eight points in a row. Wes Nelson finds Tracy off to Fenton Bramley going baseline. And he stepped on the line out of bounds. As they tried to get it away to West Nelson, Jordan Brown's going to check in, Danbury native. And we'll see Jaheim Young checking out. Or is he? No. Yes, he is. Under pressure in the backcourt. Boyd. Long lead for Charles Mitchell. 
Boyd will take it back between the circles. Mitchell puts up a three against Tracy and buries it. Charles Mitchell. Seven points. 11 of three. 11 on the insert. Beacon women have 19 unanswered after being down two zip against the Colonials in game one. A steal there. Mitchell puts up a three. Hits again. Timeout West County with 15.59 to play. Jordan Brown and Joel Cooper, so it's the second wave of Colonials. West Con will use an eight to ten man. Rotation. For the most part, they might go deeper depending on the situation. Alkins hits the jumper off the timeout for the right baseline. Good stuff there to make it 14 to 5. Charles Mitchell working with Boyd. Sinelli out there, Monroe. And Burris. 12 on the shot clock. Mitchell Alkins on here. Puts up a three. Hits the back of the rim on that one. Rebound Brown. Ahead to Johnson. Cleckley takes it to the forecourt. Tracy, the veteran. Off to Alkins. Fakes the shot. Goes to the paint. Has the ball knocked away. Taken by Sinelli. 15 minutes to play here in the first half. In the paint, Monroe driving, hits, and he's fouled by Alkins. His first, team's first. Monroe trying to complete the three-point play. His first points in the ball game. Monroe, 48% from the line, well below the team average of 62%. And that one misses, and the ball's tipped away to Clinkley. Joel Cooper to Tracy, and Clinkley is looking to shake and bake with 12. He pulls away, fadeaway shot. No. Rebound into the hands of Burris. And back come the Beacons. We're going to see Tyler Scalzo check in. As Coach Rancourt goes even a little bit deeper. Scalzo seen time, no question of it. And sometimes significant minutes in a ball game. Monroe's shot, uh-uh. Ball tapped around, taken by Cooper. Cooper to the paint. Cooper scoop and Cooper banks it high and in. Joel Cooper. Cooper out of Mount Vernon, New York. Makes it 16-7. Mitchell to the paint. Underneath the Monroe. We got an offensive foul. No bucket. No bucket. Charles Mitchell is going to come up with the offensive foul. That'll be his second. Team second. And he will go to the bench. With 10 points, 10 of his teams, 16 to start this game. He goes to the bench. And Z Lu has checked in. Sophomore swingman from Boston. Give and go. Scalzo can't find the room, though, so he wisely passes it around. Alkins now in the paint. Fouled on the way to the hoop. And it's going to be Lou. His first, team's third. Z. Lou, by the way, only his eighth appearance of the season. All off the bench. Alkins at the line. Hits the free throw. Alkins with three points. Second doesn't go. Ball is tapped around and taken by Boyd. 16 8. Colonials down by 8. Zanelli 
Working it with Mariano Rodriguez who's out there now, number zero. Boyd Burris on the court. Long Ranger will not go. Tap, tap, tap. Take it by Alkins. To Cooper. Cooper pulls up for the shot. No. Rebound Jordan Brown. Bumped. Baby Hook won't go. Rebound knocked around and we get a foul. Loose ball foul. Going against Brown. Jordan with his first, team's second. Scalzo, Cooper, Legend Johnson, Jordan Brown, Ryan Alkins out there for the Colonials. Sinelli, Boyd, Burris, Rodriguez, and Lou are the Beacon crew. 12 and a half to play. UMass Boston by eight. Push off there by Burris on Brown. Sinelli, a contested three, and we've got three shots coming. And you got to be kidding. First of all, they missed the push off. And secondly, we got a guy kicking out to shoot a three, and they're going to call a foul against Johnson. Not a good call by any means. First on Johnson, third on the team. Clubs even in that department. We'll see Sinelli at the line. He's got four points so far. Buries that one. He's got two more to go. Beacons have led by as many as 11 here in the first half. Sinelli, we should point out, 72% free throw shooter, well above. The team's per game average. Monroe's going to check back in, the big man. He missed that one, though. 18 8, 10 point lead. Legend Johnson. Playing catch with Cooper in the forecourt, 20 on the shot clock. Alkins. Got Scalzo, left side. Tyler, bounce pass down low for Alkins. Ball knocked out of bounds by Burris. Monroe checks in. Sinelli will check out and take a breather. Fenton Bradley Jr. will replace Alkins, who did yeoman's work on the court. Three points, three rebounds coming off the bench. Inbound to Fenton Bradley Jr. Puts up a three uncontested and buries it! His first points of the game for the team's leading scorer. Burris gets the inbound to Lewis, off his foot, bounces all the way to Bradley, Fenton, driving, Fenton, stuffing, Fenton, 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 makes it 18 13. Bacon's in the forecourt, their lead cut to five, Boyd, bounce pass underneath Monroe, puts it right in. Cooper has Scalzo on the left wing. Brown up top. Legend Johnson now on the left wing, but it's Bradley right side. Against Monroe. Jumper. Fenton off the mark. Loose ball. Legend Johnson comes away with it. We got a whistle. I'm a privet out there now with Fenton Bradley. Jay Tracy. Wes Nelson and Jaheim Young. So the starting five. On the court for the Colonials. Shea Tracy gets it to Fenton. Caught in a height mismatch. He does a fadeaway that at the buzzer hit the front of the rim. Remember, the Colonials only had eight on the shot clock on the inbound. Boyd. And that three gets buried on Boyd's pass to Rodriguez for the try. Makes it 23-13. Burris out there, Monroe out there, and Sinelli. Back in the ball game. Shea Tracy to the paint. Spins, turns, shot. No, it's short. And Monroe picked it off in midair. Back on the Beacons. 
who have answered the colonial run that brought the lead down to five, brought it right back up to ten. Did UMass Boston? Boyd, Tracy on him, Burris, eight on the shot clock. The give to Boyd stops and pops, hits the back of the rim, rebound tapped out. Shea Tracy takes it. Nelson to Young to Bradley. Um, that's the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. To get her done. Rodriguez fadeaway three, way off the mark that time. Wes Nelson driving, gives it off on the run. Primit hits it, he's fouled. It's going to be Rodriguez, Mariano Rodriguez, his first team's fourth to put Privet at the line to try for a three-point play. Rodriguez checks out. Charles Mitchell with two personals, but ten points will be checking back in. Privet hits, and the lead is back down to five, 23-18. Beacon's lead, but again, the Colonials on a mini run here. Sonali double team gets help from Boyd. I head to Charles Mitchell. I'll have 15 on the shot clock as Boyd works it to Mitchell. Boyd splits the D, loses the ball. Fenton Bradley, our head to Jaheim Young, who lays it up, rolls off the rim. Beacons back the other way. Mitchell's pass antenna from Monroe, stolen by Wes Nelson. Jaheim Young up top. The Shea Tracy back to Wes. Get it off to Ahmad Privet, who puts up a fadeaway three. Rattled around. Monroe the rebound, stolen away by Privet, but we got a loose ball foul. It's going to be Jaheim Young. And that will be his first team's fourth. Clubs even in that department with 8.33 to go. Jaheim's going to check out. Jordan Brown is going to check back in. Jordan came off the bench earlier, grabbed a couple of rebounds. The Danbury native. Inbound to Boyd. Pushes off on Jordan Brown. Gets it ahead, Monroe, who banks it in. They used their quickness that time and had Monroe waiting all alone. Underneath the bucket. Wes Nelson up top, Fenton Bradley. Driving against Monroe, pulls back, fadeaway jumper. No. And nobody underneath but blue shirts. Sanelli. Pass from Burris. Telegraphed and picked off by Nelson. Wes around one player, gets it off to Tracy, who lays it up and in. Shea Tracy with his first points. Timeout. Burris and Monroe. Colonials have Cooper out there with Brown, Legend Johnson, Tracy Cleckley, and Ryan Alkins. Mitchell given some room by Cleckley there. 15 on the shot clock. Zanelli. Tuberus. 10 on the shot clock. Sanelli in the paint. Driving, running right-handed. No rebound. Alkins. Here come the Colonials. It's Joel Cooper. And to Cleckley. Tracy to the paint. Gives off Alkins. Wide open. Jumper from 12. And he makes it 25-22. Colonials within three. And Alkins. Helping out with five points here tonight. Burris, three, in, out, rebound, Alkins against Monroe. Nice work by Ryan right there. Legend Johnson gives in the corner to Brown, up top to Cooper, 20 on the shot clock. Claudio's could tie or bring it within one. Alkins, left open up top again, and he hits again. But they keep leaving him open, and he's got the hot hand, three for three from the floor. 
trust me, we understand that away. But not in a way. Not when you're giving them that shot. That's his wheelhouse shot from the floor. Monroe, though, that time made the deep. Got Alkins to bite and put it home. Made it 27-24. Six minutes to play in the half. Cooper got it away to Cleckley. Ten on the shot clock. Alkins up top. Drives. Rejected by Monroe. Ball out of bounds off the Colonials. Malik Lorquette. Along with Mariano Rodriguez checking in for the Beacons. Burris and Monroe leave. Boyd, Mitchell, and Sinelli stay in there. Sinelli. Come on. Mitchell, wide open three. Oh, you can't leave Charles open for that puppy. 13 points for him. Three of five from three-point range. They've built up a six-point lead now with 5.26 to go. Cleckley. He rattles a three. Cleckley's first points here this afternoon. Open Rodriguez for three. And they're trading the three-pointers at the moment. Rodriguez off the bench with six points. Legend Johnson to Cooper. Back to Cleckley. 20 on the shot clock. Cooper driving. Floats one up. Ball gets knocked around and taken away by Rodriguez. Boyd given room by Cooper. Trying to get some help. Now he'll pull back and take a three. 36 27. They've built up. A nine-point lead after the Colonials got within one. We'll see the starting unit come back in for West soon. Johnson fadeaway three. Rolls off the rim. Rebound. Brown underneath. Fakes. Puts it back up. And it rolls and it rolls in. And Jordan Brown with his first bucket of the day. Back the other way. Sinelli. Boyd. 12 on the shot clock. Sinelli with a three. Off the side of the rim. Rebound carries out to Cleckley. Here come the Colonials. They could use another mini run right now. Cleckley. Bounce pass. Cooper. Jumper. Right side. Rolls off. And blue shirts underneath. Boxing out. Including Charles Mitchell. Charles with three rebounds to go with his 13 points. Have you seen Burris return for the Beacon suit? Hanson, in the paint is knocked away, but Boyd regains it. Kicks it out. Who's open? It's Charles for three. Charles Mitchell cannot be denied from long range. 16 points, four of six from La La Land. Legend Johnson is teamed down by 10. Hawkins up top. Jumper. That one is short. Rebound. Hawkins driving. Puts it up and in. Good second effort by Alkins, who leads all Colonials with nine points. On five of seven shooting from the floor. Beacons up by eight. Wide open for a tray. Rodriguez off the mark, though. Rebound comes away to Brown to Cooper. Joel. Jumper. Hits the back of the rim. Rebound to Cleckley. Two fifteen to play in the first half. Ten on the shot clock. Cooper kicks it. Alkins to the paint. And we got an offensive foul. Or a foul on the floor against the Beacons. We'll see how referee Scanlon called. West Nelson to inbound. Gets it way out to Jaheim Young. Give it away to Ahmed Privet. Bradley Jr. and Jay Tracy all return to the lineup. Number 15. 
Mount Privet being guarded closely, and so the ball off to Wes Nelson, who can't bank it in. Ball is knocked around, taken by Burris. Here come the Beacons with a minute 45 to play. It is Boyd. Three points, nine assists here in the first half. Nine assists in the first half for Boyd. Double dribble, though. Turnover for the Beacons as Monroe will return. Mark Monroe, he's got eight points. Three rebounds. Check it out, Lord Kent. Wes Nelson to Fenton Bradley. Sinelli was out on him. 15 on the shot clock. Jaheim Young opened straight away three. It's the side of the rim. Rebound. Privet puts it in and he draws the foul. It's going to be Burris picking up his first. Team sixth. And we'll see Privet go to the line. He's two for three at the charity stripe so far in the ball game. Completes the three-point play. Makes it 39-34, so they get it down to five again. Beacons have just kept finding a way here in the first half to get back to a double-digit lead. Sinelli working it around with Rodriguez. Burris. Sinelli, 10 on the shot clock against Tracy. Throws it cross court and it gets picked off by Nelson. Trying to catch up as Rodriguez. Nelson lays it up and it spins in. Wes Nelson Jr. with his first points. Make it 39-36. Westcon within three here in the first half. 35 seconds to play. Be 20 on the shot clock for Boyd and company. Sinelli to Boyd. That cross quarter to Burris puts up a three, buries it. Buries it. Burris with his first points. 42 36. Colonials can play for a final first half shot here. Privet guarded by Boyd. Eight seconds. Five seconds. Privet to Tracy from way, way out. Off the mark, and that's it. 42-36. UMass. Eight players. In Toto. Getting only six points off their bench. All from Mariano Rodriguez. Westcon has the ball to start the second half. Moving right to left across the screen. Whatever that screen may be. And Jaheim Young drives and puts it home. He's got four points. Charles Mitchell, the big offensive story with 16 points. On six of eight shooting and four of six in three-point range. We've got a backcourt violation on the Beacons. Good defense by West County here. West Nelson out there with Ahmed Privet, Fenton Bradley Jr., Shea Tracy. Shaheem Young, Wes Nelson has the ball now to the paint. Short stop and pop and banks it in. Wes Nelson with four points. Colonials come out of the gate. Cut the lead down to two. Charles Mitchell working with Sinelli. Boyd, Burris, Monroe. They get the ball across, or do they? No, it's stolen by Bradley. Jaheem Young driving. And the Colonials have tied it up. 18-59 to play. And don't forget about Rhode Island College at 9-6. and six. Pressure on the inbound. Boyd to Sinelli. They get it across to Burris. Sinelli feeds off to Boyd. Who had 10 assists in the first half despite some funky shooting. The ball goes out of bounds. And who's it off of? Colonials, yeah, it'll be the Beacons ball with 13 on their shot clock. So now he gets it to Boyd in front of the Beacon bench. West Nelson on him. Charles Mitchell, the guy the Colonials have to find an answer for. There's Burris with a three off the rim. Monroe the rebound. 
and an air ball shot. Bradley gets it to Privet. Wes Nelson driving, kicks it off. Young, unattended jumper, and Jaheim Young starting his half. Three for three from the floor. Colonials take the lead, their first since that initial three-zip lead in the game. But Mitchell, the man who cannot be stopped, gives the Beacons the lead right back. He's got 19 points. He's five of seven from beyond the arc. 45-44, UMass Boston. Colonials, Young drove, missed. Bradley in the putback. Colonials back on top, and Bradley with nine points. Team's leading score. And we've got Young and Privet and a foul on the floor against the Colonials. Jaheim Young is incredulous, but it's going to be against him. It'll be his second, team's first. Jaheim still walking around doing a Boris Karloff there. The Frankenstein. Sanelli traveling. Shay Tracy and the position. Sanelli is suddenly saying he's got a cramp or a foot thing or whatever and talking to referee Mike Scanlon. And the answer is mm, you travel. 17 34 to play. One point. Colonial lead. Inbound. Privet. Jumper. Got. Privet. Red nine points. Colonials match their biggest lead of the game. Three points. Boyd Nelson on him. Gives it right side. And Nelly buries the three to tie things up at 48. Sanelli with nine points. Hadn't heard from him in a while offensively. Young to Tracy. Up top, Wes Nelson. 15 on the shot clock. Wes Nelson can't lay it in, but he gets his own rebound. Back to Young. Puts up a three. Hit the side of the rim and the rebound. Charles Mitchell double teamed immediately. Needs help. Gets it out to Burris. Here come the Beacons. It's Monroe. Tom Mitchell, Tom Boyd, who runs the show. 15 on the shot clock. Boyd lofts it out. Mitchell puts up an immediate three. That one misses. Rebound Monroe over everybody. But his attempt to get things going, thwarted by the Colonials. Tracy Bradley, stop! <laughs> Colonials by two. And Sanelli breaks away from everybody to tie it. Sanelli in double digits with 11 points. Young against Monroe. No. Loose ball as everybody goes flying on the floor. Monroe. And they get it all the way down court. Mitchell, another three. Another three for Charles Mitchell. He's six of nine. He's got 22 points. Overall, eight of 11 from the floor. Bradley will try to answer, and he does! Fenton Bradley! 53 all. Fenton Bradley. His second tray of the day. Monroe pushing, pushing. Can't get the layup, but he gets the follow-up. Two-point lead, but Bradley ties it right back up. Bradley's got 16 points to lead all Colonials. And he's 7 of 11 from the floor now. 55-55. We got ourselves a game here. And Boyd goes around Privet and gets fouled. Doesn't get the layup, but he'll go to the line. Well, Cooper. So the Colonials, second five. West County used 11 players in the first half. As Boyd hits, to give his team the one-point lead. Colonials will use... 
a solid eight, expand to ten in terms of their rotation. And then they'll go beyond that as the situation merits. Both free throws hit by Boyd. Two-point lead for the Beacons. Leckley, the give and go with Brown off his body out of bounds. It's going to be Beacons ball turnover for Westcon there. Referee Mike Scanlon. Conferring with Joe Stage. Sinelli to inbound to Boyd, who gets a hold of it somehow. Off to Sinelli, picked up by Cleckley. The long lead, Mitchell. Again, a three. He just can't miss. The man cannot miss. He has 25 points, 7 of 10 on three pointers. 9 of 12 overall. Five point lead for the Beacons. And Mitchell has 25 of their 60 points. Colonials just can't find that answer. He's shooting any way he can. Open, off balance, you name it. Alkins. Fade away. Off the mark. Rebound. Brown is going to get called for a loose ball foul. Or did he get pushed? No, they're going to say Alkins away from the ball. Away from that rebound attempt. Alkins. Or are they giving it to Brown? Now they're giving it to Brown. So it wasn't away for the ball. Brown will pick up his second. Team's third. They got an offensive foul. And it's going to be Boyd with the stiff arm, which he used a lot in the first half. Here he gets called. For his first and the team's first foul. With 13.35 to play, Westcon down by five. They've led by as many as three. Beacons have led by as many as 11. They did come out hot in the second half. To retook the lead. There's Cleckley hitting the back of the rim. Three attempt and loose ball underneath. Taken away by Johnson. As Malik Larkett, who had checked in, could not handle the pumpkin. Cooper driving. Back door. No basket. Loose ball could not be saved. It'll be Colonial Ball, 8 on the shot clock. Or will they get 20 since it went out for Boston? Off Lorquette. Monroe's going to return. Lorquette out. So Burris, Boyd out there. Sinelli, Mitchell. Colonials will get 20. Inbound to Alkins. Puts up the jumper. Shots that were going in for Ryan in the first half, not going in. Here in the second half, Mitchell to Boyd against Johnson. The shot is off the mark. Monroe, the rebound, knocked out of bounds by the Colonials. Monroe trying to take advantage of the size disadvantage for Westcott. Monroe goes 6 6 and can play a little bigger, if you know what I mean. Plus, he likes to muscle. <laughs> Rebound on the missed shot by Alkins, though. Here comes Legend Johnson. Gets it to Jordan Brown. Kicks it. Cooper with 20 on the shot clock. Legend Johnson. Driving. Up top. Alkins open. That one goes down. Alkins needs to find a stroke again because he was big in the first half for the Colonials. 11 points now for Alkins on 5-9 shooting from the floor. Westcon within three. Mitchell brings it back. Is he going to try another three? No, that time he thought better of it. Got it to Boyd against Brown. Down low. Monroe got Alkins out of position. Got everybody out of position. Legend Johnson as well. Monroe making his presence felt. Got a dozen points. Back to a five-point beacon lead. Monroe getting her done right there and gets a rebound or does it? Yes, he does. And he got foul. Loose ball foul. Or will he? No, he's moving on up. Moving on up. Bradley Jr. 
So Nelly, we have Privet on him as the starting five back in for the Colonials. Wes Nelson, Jay Tracy, Fenton Bradley, Jaheim Young. Give and go in the paint. And ends up in the hands of Young. The lead, Privet. Ahmed up top, Jaheim Young to Shea Tracy. Wes Nelson between the circles. 15 on the shot clock. Young, the jumper, hits the back of the rim. Monroe out, rebounds. And the Colonials there just jumped high and took advantage of the height as well. And he dribbles it up court. And we got a whistle and a travel. He stopped and traveled. Wow. Maybe trying to do too much. After coming away with the big board for the Beacons. Five-point UMass Boston lead. Westcon with the ball. Jaheim Young to Shea Tracy. Bothered by Burris. Wes Nelson driving in the paint. Puts up the short shot. No, but he gets his own rebound and puts it back. Wes Nelson with six points here tonight. Westcon within three. Sinelli to Boyd in the backcourt. They play a little catch to move it on up. Boyd trying to shake and bake. Privet. Boyd, jumper up top. And we got a whistle and a foul. Privet's going to pick up his second. Team's fifth. It's all Boyd. He was two for two at the line, five points. Misses that one. He is one of the team's better free throw shooters, but he's missed that one. Let's see if he gets this one. Yeah, he does. 63-59, four-point lead. As we approach the 10-minute mark. Privet to Jaheim Young to Tracy, left side. Jaheim in the left corner, driving in the paint, puts it up. It won't roll. Monroe the rebound, he is just grabbing him. He's got 11 boards in this puppy. Leads everybody in that department. Boyd, jumper against Bradley, off the mark. Rebound, tap, 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 loose ball foul. And that one is going against Monroe. Yep. Monroe will pick up his first. Team second. It'll be Colonial Ball as Tracy Cleckley checks in. Jaheim Young checks out. Cleckley off the bench in this one with three points. Couple of rebounds. Trey Tracy, the give to Tracy Cleckley who drives against Monroe and rolls one in. Wow. He took the bump to bump and made it a two-point game with 9.14 to play. Charles Mitchell almost lost the ball. Got it to Sinelli. Boyd out there, Monroe out there, Burris out there. It's been a tight eight-person rotation. For these beacons, the shot won't go on the run. Rebound away, Colonials. Here's Wes Nelson driving. Lays it up and in. Wes Nelson taking charge. We're tied at 63 with 8.43 to play. Mitchell avoid. Cleckley on, Boyd up top, Burris open for a three, good. He buried it. Burris, who we haven't heard from in a while, six points, two of six on the floor, all shots have been three-point attempts for Burris here today. And it's a three-point lead for the Beacons. And their solid three-point shooting continues despite the fact Burris has missed four. Overall, they've done superbly well. Backdoor bucket, Fenton Bradley Jr. And he's going to the line. Number 21. We're going to see Lord Kent checking back in. Is that what happened? 
Bradley misses. Yep, Marquette is back in for the Beacons, number 21, Sinelli. Martin Boyd, Mitchell, and Burris stays in there. So Monroe is getting a breather at 740 to play. 10 on the shot clock for Boyd. Double team that means he's got somebody open somewhere but couldn't find Mitchell. Now Boyd, the left side of the lane, jumper in traffic, falls short, scooped up by Fenton Bradley. West Nelson brings it back. West Nelson driving. No, Bradley can't put the ball back in. And the Beacons come away with it. The follow-up by Fenton fell short. So the Colonials had an opportunity there to retake the lead, but they have two opportunities. Beacons come away with it. It's Lorquette down low against Cleckley, and Lorquette gets his first points of the ball game. A big bucket there, making it 68-65. Wes Nelson to Tracy. Fenton Bradley fade away, hits. Colonials down by one. Sinelli picked up by Cleckley. You have to red shoes on and pulls it back out. The Burris is pass deflected and picked off by Tracy. Colonials a chance to retake the lead right here. Wes Nelson feeling his oats. Back to Privet. Fade away three. Hit the front of the rim. Rebound tapped around. Taken by Burris. Loose ball foul against Privet. That'll be his third. Team sixth. Monroe's going to return after a breather. Lorquette did some fine work in there. We'll check out. Lorquette's numbers won't necessarily show it, but off the bench for a tight rotation and getting two points and two rebounds in this one. Significant on the Beacon stat sheet. Zanelli, Mitchell, oh my. He missed that try. Monroe gets the rebound, or does he? Yes, he does. He regained it. Got it to Boyd. Boyd wants help. 15 on the shot clock. In the paint, Monroe, who planted himself there, puts it in against Bradley. 70-67, three-point lead. Here's Wes Nelson. To Fenton Bradley, straightaway three, hit the front of the rim, and nobody underneath, really for the Colonials at that point in time and Mitchell lost it, stolen away Wes Nelson can't put it in or I should say Privet couldn't put it in because he got fouled and it's going to be Charles Mitchell getting his third team's fourth and Ahmed Privet will go to the line so the shot by Fenton there were just too many blue jerseys underneath and the ball didn't fly out well, the Colonials, on good defense, were coming away with it. And Privet with the put-in attempt, getting fouled. Hits right there, so I'm a Privet. He's now in double digits. He's 4-5 or five at the line, 10 points. Ryan Alkins checking, Fenton Bradley checking out. Jaheim Young is back in. Legend Johnson, Cleckley, and of course, Privet there. Hitting the big free throws. Colonials back within one, 5.15 to plug. Colonials lost in overtime at UMass Boston. 83-75 back on the 7th of January. Look to even the season series, maintain their hold on first. Sinelli, three, off the mark. Rebound, Alkins boxing out Burris. Back comes Westcott, a chance to take the lead. Legend Johnson to Cleckley, to the paint, running right-hander. No, no, running left-hander, I should say. The second shot won't go. Third shot doesn't go as Burris blocked it. They had three chances. Didn't come away with it, but they get the steal. 
and Lynch and saves it to Jaheim Young. Primit. Shot hit the side of the rim. Rebound. Jaheim Young driving. Puts it up and in. What a flurry of activity around the Colonial bucket. Colonials on top. 71-70. Whistle. It's going to be Primit picking up his fourth. Team seven, so it's a one and one coming up for Sinelli. So Primit now playing with four personals. Sinelli at the line. He's two of three at the charity stripe. 11 points in this ball game. Front end. Misses. And Monroe gets the putback after pushing off to get to the hoop. Monroe. With 16 points. Legend Johnson. Jaheim Young tries a three. Short. Loose ball. Cleckley. Boyd. Who's got it? We had a holding foul, and it's going to go against West Cap. Uh, official. Although he's missed one here today, but he's three of four, and that's right around what he shoots in the charity strike. Hits the front end, makes it 73 71. We'll see if Monroe pushes off here. Nope, not that time, and Boyd hits it, makes it a three-point lead again for the Beacons. Tracy Cleckley checks out, it's Jaheim Young, Shane Tracy, Ryan Alkins, Wes Nelson, and Legend Johnson, the Colonial Five at the moment. Shane Tracy to Jaheim Young. Jaheim driving against Monroe, floats it in. He's got a dozen points. One point ball game. Boyd ahead to Burris, who's taken all his shots in three point land. Boyd driving, running left hander. Uh uh. Loose ball, Monroe, Monroe. Did he travel or get fouled on the floor? Or do they have something they need called? Ah, they need the shot clock adjusted to 12. It'll still be Beacon's ball, but a couple of seconds taken off the shot clock. It's Boyd. Eight on the shot clock. Boyd driving the floater there, way off the mark. Monroe can't get the pushback in. Loose ball, he picks it up, though. They've gotten a fresh 20 after that. Boyd. Driving, loose ball underneath, and it's off the Colonials with five on the shot clock. Fenton Bradley checks in. For Westcon, Alkins checks out. It'll be Sinelli to inbound. He gets it to Burris. They don't have much time. Sinelli turn around jumper and he buries the three. Wow. Got it to Burris, took a pass back, turn around baseline. And 76-73 is where it stands. Or are they saying it was inside the arc? Either way, it's a three-point lead right now for the Beacons as we go down the stretch. Ten on the shot clock. Bradley hits the shot inside the arc. It's a one-point ball game again. Yep, so Sinelli with 13 points. A steal! Johnson gives the Colonials the lead. 77-76. Mitchell back the other way to Monroe. Traveling. Big turnover by the Beacons here with a minute 53 to play. Monroe pleading his case. Playing with four personals. Jaheim Young, Shea Trace, and Fenton Bradley for the Colonials. Charles Mitchell. 
Who leads all scores with 25 and has hit seven three-pointers. He's out there with Boyd and Sinelli, Monroe, Burris. 15 on the shot clock for Westcom. Jaheim Young to Legend Johnson. Kicking it. Jaheim going baseline against Monroe. Underneath, the ball is stolen by Monroe. And the ball knocked out of bounds by Westcom. So... Colonials with a chance to take the lead did not even get a shot. Defensed by the Beacons who have the ball here. Charles Mitchell pushing it ahead to Sinelli. Double team gets it away to Boyd to Burris. He was open for three, now he's open for a two drive. Yeah, he just faked the D on the three attempt and went straight to the hoop to give his team the lead with a minute and nine seconds to go. 78-77. Burris with a big bucket. Back the other way, Jaheim Young missed. Fenton Bradley with the putback. He's got 24 points. Colonials with a one-point lead. 58 seconds to go. Game one between these two teams. Way back in January. Ended up with a beacon victory in overtime. Mitchell on the run. Monroe the putback. It's 80-79-36. Because they have a few fouls to give. Does UMass Boston. If they foul on the floor. Legend Johnson. Bothered by Mitchell. Gets it to Fenton Bradley. 15 on the shot clock. Fenton, jumper up top. Good! And he's fouled! He is fouled! Lorquet, who had checked in for Monroe. Lorquet with his second foul. Team's fit. That's not the foul you wanted. It'll put Fenton at the line. He missed one earlier. He's 12 of 18 from the floor, though. 26 points. He's down the leading scorer between the two teams. Wes Nelson will check in. Jaheim Young will check out. 19.8 seconds to go. Bradley, a chance to give the Colonials a two-point lead. Of course, you got all those dangerous three-point men for the Beacons. And plenty of time on the clock. But Bradley hits. That's what you got to do. Mitchell and Sinelli. Privet with four fouls. Shea Tracy, Fenton Bradley, Legend Johnson, Wes Nelson of the Colonials. The inbound off the fingertips, but regained by the Beacons. Boy, to Sinelli. 14 on the shot clock. He drives and hits Sinelli. Big bucket. He's got 15 points. Westcon brings it back. Under 10 seconds to play. We're tied at 82. Nelson to Bradley. Stops it off. 3.7 seconds to go! It's 3 for 7 from the floor, 2 of 6 from 3-point range. The clock is running, 3 seconds, 1 second, Boomer Sinelli, no! It hit the rim, but went off! It hit the rim, but went off! Colonials win! They maintain their edge! 